Hi. Russian may well be associated with a hard liquor like vodka, but uh, in this video I will be talking about uh, our traditional soft drinks and uh, non-alcoholic beverages. I will start with the uh, most traditional of them all, uh, kvass, which uh, traces its roots uh, probably to the 10th uh, century uh, of our era, and uh, it is made of uh, rye bread here how it looks like uh, and it is made upon uh, its fermentation uh, and you will get drinks like this uh, they are bottled and uh, have uh, g uh, gas in them so let's see But traditionally they were fermented in a big glass jars and didn't have that much of uh, gases and foam forming on top of them. Uh, and they are not only bottled in pet bottles but also they are canned and uh, are on sale everywhere. So this is how it's, it is spelled, kvass. It is popular in all over ex-Soviet Union and in many countries of Eastern Europe. Here, see, it is of brown color. It could be, it could taste sweet. It could taste uh, bitter. Uh, not all foreigners like the taste. And let me see, it's in light. Uh, it's, it's not very much transparent, but still, it is. It is dark brown in color. Uh, another uh, old tradition is uh, brewing of different kind of uh, drinks made of uh, berries, which are abundant in our northern climes. Uh, cranberries, uh, cloudberries, you name them. So I cooked one myself uh, or boiled and this one is made of cranberry, uh, pinkish due to the natural um, color of the, of, the, of the berry. It, 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 can, it contains some particles of, uh, of it so it's a bit misty or muddy and uh, as you see, some berries are swimming in it. And the drink is extremely popular in, uh, in Russia, not only homemade, but uh, as a sign of a truly uh, popular drink, it was uh, mass produced by bigger uh, manufacturers. Here is uh, a, one of many brands uh, marketed in, uh, in local stores. See here how it is look uh, is uh, written Morse Morse in Russian, and uh, let me see if I have one more transparent glass. Uh, oops, yeah, spills over. That one has more concentrated color, and uh, yeah, they may add some uh, additives and colorants. To it smells fruity, but uh, you know, with modern chemistry, you can fake anything. Uh, but the popularity of those drinks I have already mentioned, Kvass and um, Morse, uh, forced uh, bigger uh, international players to actually come into the market and come with the, the products of, under their own brands. Like that, Santal, globally popular. Here is written Klukwa, which is cranberry and the same uh, berry I used for brewing my own uh, little uh, moss here in my kitchen let us see how it looks like yeah it's it's more of a ruby and uh, intense color uh, Santal and uh, here our comparison well they look a bit different yeah, and smell. Mine has a 
much more reserved uh, sense. See here it's like a wine. And this is a very very pink. And it's not diluted actually. Okay, uh, the next one, uh, the next drink I want to talk with you about is uh, called Kampot, uh, which, is, uh, which is brewed uh, from uh, dried fruits. Here they are. Uh, very popular, uh, was served in uh, many public canteens and kindergartens uh, and schools uh, all over Soviet Union. And uh, this is dried uh, dried apple and uh, dried plum. Uh, so it is made mostly made of these fruits, with, and with addition of some sugar, you can get that kind of drink. See, it's uh, cloudy, uh, and uh, it normally has uh, fruits down there at the bottom. And uh, I, I brewed this one myself too, just for the occasion of the video. And uh, we also uh, have, a, have a lot of um, berries, as I mentioned, to, to make drinks from, not only alcoholic, but soft ones too. And this is a widely unknown, uh, mostly unknown, uh, berry in Europe. In Russian it's called tablipiha. Uh, and uh, I will need to quickly check what is its <laughs> Russian counterpart's name or oh, English English translation. Uh, okay, here and in English it goes as sea buckthorn. Well, still probably won't mean a lot. To, to my foreign friends, and uh, it, it is considered to be extremely healthy, and it uh, it's uh, it has oil. See, uh, can I better illustrate this. It, it's like uh, there, uh, there is a thick, uh, oily layer of its oil. It smells uh, very, very um, strange, so to speak. But uh, Russians, most of Russians are used to it, and uh, and it's uh, it's full of uh, vitamins and uh, and all other elements. Looks a bit like carrot juice, but it is not. It has a very interesting taste. Yeah, so if you see that one. Uh, in Russian stores, don't hesitate and buy one. It may not be pleasing to your taste buds, but still it's very, it's full of health. Uh, 